How is your relationship to the unknown? Every time we experience a thought about the future, we experience that thought, but not the actual future. The future is unknown. The future is a thought. And everything that happens, including that thought, happens now. And we can fear the future. We can fear the unknown. But it's also what allows our goals and dreams to exist in the first place. The unknown is the excitement, the surprises in life, the twists and turns the zigzag of success and failures on the path to what you wish for, the synchronicities, the serendipities and the miracles, the anticipation of a moment, and the openness to that moment being something new and unfamiliar. Because it's just fear, fear of the unknown, fear of tomorrow, Fear of change. Fear that nothing will change. All that lies outside the comfort zone and all that lies concealed within the dark. What we don't understand and what is truly strange and bizarre and alien. And the fear is natural. It's natural to fear the unknown. But the ego wants to know. It wants it now. It wants to grasp and hold and make it permanent. Permanently known. Permanent oneness. Permanent ecstasy. Permanent illumination. But for anything new and exciting or unfamiliar or mystical to happen, it has to be unknown. And with openness to this comes liberation from the chains of fear. The fear of the unknown, of what might happen, of what they might think, of what I might think. Who am I to do that? What might they think of me? How will I survive and meet my needs? And what if it all goes wrong? And what if I look like a fool? All these stories in the mind that seemingly become real when we identify with them but which are viewed with true intelligence and rationality when a shift occurs within. The realization of yourself as the awareness that these stories appear within, but that you are way deeper than any story that can be told about you. The unknown is the mystery at the core of the universe. Is there life out there? Or are we alone? What was there before we were born and what happens after we die? It's what allows questions to be answered and discoveries to be discovered. It's the meaning in the heart of what it means to be. The conundrum in the quantum, the unexplained at the edge of science, the states of consciousness beyond the norm. The enigma of how vast it all is. Our bodies like grains of sand compared to limitless space. And all of it appearing in awareness, infinite awareness. The knower of what is known. The medium that gives life to all that's experienced. The space in which all experience arises within unchanged and undisturbed by all that arises within the ground of being, the heart of the self. The unknown is an opening, an opportunity to adventure, the ultimate excuse to explore. An acceptance of the unknown sets us free, free to create, free to wonder, free to go for all the dreams that others tell you are lofty or crazy, free to feel the fear and do it anyway, free to take a deep dive through the imagination and into the unknown, an inner dive through the fear and into the heart of yourself to remember yourself at the deepest depths 
and to remember who you are and what you came here to do, what you came here to discover or to open up and be guided. The unknown is an invitation, an invitation to discover what lies beyond the unknown.